All right. Good day, everybody. I'm here with John from Nickelbrook Brewing Company here Good in... Good day. We're doing a couple questions here, quickly. How did you get into brewing? Well, I, as a wee little boy uh, with my dad, I got into making uh, wine, and then as I grew up, I uh, started to have a love for beer, and, you know, money was tight as a kid and a student, so my brother and I started uh, brewing our own beer, and that was... Uh, start of it and over 20 years ago I uh, quit my day job, I studied engineering, quit my day job and opened up Better Bitters which was a home brewing center and a U-brew and to make better warts we decided to build a little brewery in the midst of building our brewery, lovely Teresa at Lakeport 24 for 24 service and who the heck would have thought you know beer was going to drop by 10 bucks a case and the bottom of my business dropped out and we had no choice but uh, to endeavor into the world of microbrewing, not to know what we got ourselves into. And it was a pleasant surprise when we sunk our teeth into it. Alrighty, next, what is your favorite style of beer? My favorite style of beer, it changes um, to, to weather. Uh, right now, probably my favorite style of beer will be, um, you know, my our, like an IPA. And, and I love the seasonals, like, you know, like this time of year, I'll, I'll, I love to you know, have a few pints of, say, a pumpkin beer or a fall harvest beer. Alrighty, and what is your, well, currently, what is your favorite beer to drink? Currently, my favorite beer to drink, well, I, I'm a big fan of, of our stuff. Like, I'd have to say, uh, Ryan's done a great job. Uh, last year's Cuvée was oh, exceptional. I love that. Yeah, so I'd have to say my favorite beer is uh, our Cuvée. All right, now, now to force your hand on a couple of your favorite beers. If it wasn't from Nickelbrook, what would it be? If it wasn't from Nickelbrook, what would it be? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Oh, if I had to pick someone else's, a craft beer or just, uh, uh, I, I, love the, I love the IPAs uh, right now. Um, Sierra Nevada's IPA would probably be uh, right up there. Right, and if you had to drink a big brand, I know it was your arm. Can't do it. No, can't do it. Can't. No, there aren't. There aren't uh, many. And, you know, if I want to call this a big brand, I'd say the closest thing you'd ever see me drinking in a in a restaurant would be maybe Creamart, which you know I'm still oh, yeah. pretty fond of them, and, and I and they come a long way. The retainers do an incredible job, and they're they're probably my idols. So I, I have to say, going towards the big brands would be Creamart. Alrighty, and lastly, what is the most unique or strangest ingredient you've used to brew beer with? The strangest and most unique ingredients that I've used to make beer. Mm. I have to say uh, juniper berries and a juniper tree. Juniper tree? He cut the branches. Off the juniper tree, and uh, one of our sales reps named is Charlotte, and she had a tree that she was chopping up, and she brought it in, and we were going to call it Charlotte's Bush, but that didn't, you know, it didn't make it to production. Yeah, it was just one batch of it we made. So that was right. pretty funny. Well, thank you very much. This has been the Rhino and John here at the Better Bitters Brewing Company, Nickelbrook. Bye.